Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'm gonna show you this type of vintage effects in a Photoshop. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. Going to the home actually. So from here I'll find out a photo which I downloaded from the deviant.com and I'll provide you that download link for the practice purpose in my video description. Press Ctrl or Command J, you'll get a copy of this. After that, going to the filter and then camera filter i do love to use the camera filter just because of the advanced feature like a lightroom and the color grading options those are included in 13.0.2 that's why i do like to use this one i'm going to the load settings options i made a preset for you guys actually two preset vintage one and vintage two vintage one load it up so after loading it up, you're getting the grainy vintage things, which is really cool and modern type. Let's see the setup, what I have done over there. The temperature plus 33 and the teen minus 27 here. The highlights minus 100 and the shadow minus 86 and whites plus 23 and blacks minus 1. And the dehaze plus 16. That's fine and going to the curve. Input value 2, output value 20. Input value 67 and output value 64 input value 185 output value 170 and here input value 225 and output value 220 that's fine going to the detailing option the sharpening zero in the noise reduction that is 27 and the color noise that is 17 and after that color mixture hue saturation luminance lots of uh, settings over here the red plus 38 and the orange plus 28 yellow plus 4 the aqua plus 68 and the blues that is plus 100 after that going to the saturation portion you know the percentage of the color means the saturation and hue which color will be defines with the hue and the luminance intensity of the color here saturation of the red plus 3 orange minus 8 yellow minus 25 green plus 40 aqua plus minus 35 and blue minus 28 and uh, purple that is minus 35 and the magenta plus 40 actually minus 46 luminance i made the luminance a little bit down more for things like uh, green aqua which is minus 83 and the green minus 79 and the blues minus 29 and the purple minus 12 here plus 12 and 17 reds actually and yellow plus 9 that's fine going to the color grading in a shadow portion i made the value of the hue that is 207 and the saturation 18 uh, rest of the thing is as it is optics i didn't use geometry i didn't use effects i use some grain that is grain value 36 you can adjust the grain value if you need more grain you can increase and if you don't have grain you can decrease the value and here the vignette that is, that is minus 13 and rest of the thing is by default and calibration in this portion i just changed the green and blue primaries green primaries plus 100 minus 100 and the hue of the blue primary minus 100 and plus 4 that's it for the vintage one and hit ok now i do like to use another plugins which is the nick collection going to the color effects pro 4 from here i'll add another filter which is really good and uh, which is really help you out to make this one more vintage look from here i'll use this one or uh, this one is good and making it like that and hit ok the percentage is 80 and hit ok so after using that you can adjust all the steps if you want and this preset XMP is free for you don't forget to provide the credit line of me and i'll down the opacity so mixture and modern and the vintage that is cool and you can save it out now let's try the second one press ctrl or command j uh i should compare those things that's why i could keep all the steps okay fine this one is cool and i made this one 50 percent that's fine i'm just making it the vintage this one is one and second one will make this one control or command j the another copy going the filter and camera filter from here going to the load settings options and the vintage 2 i'll import 
and you are getting the tone like this okay and here the thing okay fine and hit okay before that we have to discuss all the steps let's start from the calibration minus 100 and plus 4 and minus 100 100 and here red primary we used here actually plus 9 and plus 4 and fx grain 36 and the vignetting minus 13 rest of the thing is good geometry optics i didn't use that here the color getting 294 and the saturation like that you can change the shadow value if you want so this one is another way to change your tone so color mixture you can getting all the stuffs like uh, the previous one the gimmick of the thing is here the color getting value if you go to this value you are getting the vintage another look you can getting the other looks like here the detailing all the stuffs is 27 and 17 curves input value output value is a little bit same and the basic portion you're getting same and hit the ok button so after that going to the filter again nick collection will apply over here and after applying the nick collection will get more effects or more like this so hit the ok button after using that things the same things we used here so we are getting that too much light and everything like this i'll make the opacity like 50 percent yeah and save it out I'm saving it so vintage one and hit okay that's fine making it group vintage two so let's see the one and two the one is like this and the two is like that so we are getting the things which is really good you can apply those things this one is too much grainy you can apply the grain or you can reduce the grain as you wish hope that you'll be benefited from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query and request don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the new notifications and don't forget to comment below and uh, you can ask any type of question in my video description. So, until the next video, today is Simarip signing out. Stay safe, stay at home, keep me in your prayers. Bye bye.